Hey, good morning. It's Uncle Lou here. Yeah, that's right. It's me, Uncle Lou, and I'm live for you on YouTube today. Thanks for watching. Another uh, simulation today. We're going to do uh, South Carolina and Tennessee this time. Of course, they play every single year. This year, the game's in Knoxville, so we have it set up that way. These rosters are updated pretty much through, like, spring practice. So, if you're a South Carolina or a Tennessee fan and you notice something that's a little off or, or whatever, they're not, they're not perfect, but they're close. Uh, they, they have been updated. Uh, you know, everybody that's a junior in 2019 is a junior in here, but you know, the freshmen are on the team, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's usually around July or August by the time all these teams get perfect on the roster updates, but uh, a lot of the teams now are getting really, really close. These two are really, really close, South Carolina and Tennessee. This ought to be a good one to stream here. A lot of people think Tennessee will have a better year this year than they had last year. And uh, a lot of people think South Carolina is going to struggle this year. Um, we'll see what the video game uh, thinks. As usual, I appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Uh, I post a lot of these kinds of videos, but uh, a, a lot of other college football stuff too. So subscribe if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up. Any football in May and June uh, is good football, right? <laughs> Take whatever we can get. Anyway. Uh, let's hope for a good game here, and let's go ahead and get started. Tennessee will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Quick throw to the tight end. They'll bring him down around the 48-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Right around the 44-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Brought down around the 32-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle made at about the 15-yard line. He showed some excellent moves out there, more than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 15-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And down he goes around the 13-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires quickly to the tight end. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Looks 
like they've decided to go for it here. He's taken down around the five-yard line. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost him the possession. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on down. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Tries to get around the corner. Makes it to the 17. He gets another set of downs and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. From their own 17-yard line, first down. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Now he's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 20-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll bring up third and six. Third and six. Ball on the 20. Looks to the back and can't connect. Chandler was the intended receiver on the play, and that'll make it fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Smith back deep to return. Brought down at the 42. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Throws complete, he's got space to work, and he's tackled around the 46-yard line. First down. They come out in a five-wide set. He goes out of bounds around the 42-yard line. That brings up second and five. 35 to Mike. Okay, just like that. Just like that. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's tackled around the 31-yard line. Number 18 on the tackle at the 31-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Makes it to the 21. Gain 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Catches it, gets out of bounds. They get about four yards on the pass, and they'll pick up the first down. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap, and he threw it right out there. And he is drilled at the 25-yard line. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Good for a game of six yards. That makes it third and 11. Goes to the end zone. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. <laughs> Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. The coverage just couldn't keep up with him there.
and he tacks on the extra point. A nine play, 59 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. So our score, seven nothing. Taken from the three yard line, and he makes it out to about the 27 yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Bring him down right around the 42-yard line. Makes it to the 44. From the 44-yard line, first down. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Gets it out quickly. Tackle at the 36. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. And that's his receiver who's wide open. Brought down around the 24-yard line. about the 13. First and 10. Ball on the 13-yard line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Oh, the loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. It's the ninth play of the drive. Three down, three down. Mike six. Mike six. They bring him down. It's a big time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. And this is the 10th play of the drive. They try to get a head start there. False start, offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Johnson, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and long. It's up, and it's good. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 7-3, South Carolina. Smith, 
Rusty Maglia has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I'm sure that touchdown and their last possession's given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, is you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. South Carolina is up by four. They'll drop him for a loss. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. So it's second and 14. Ball on their own 40. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's got it with room to run. He's pushed out of bounds at the 49-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. 7-3, Gamecock. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. throws it away from the 35 yard line second down and they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set complete he's got room and down he goes at the 22 yard line first down And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Call it a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down at about the five yard line. Taylor makes the tackle at the five yard line. South Carolina holds a four point lead. Now he tries to buy some time. Throws it in a hurry. And he tackles him hard at the four. That makes it four and three. Five wide. They'll get him for a loss. The defense was playing the run all the way. And they got it right. Nice work. This one should be makeable. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. White gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's on the run. And they make the stop at the 42. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And he's tackled around the 41 yard line. That's good enough for another Tennessee. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. 
And he's taken down at the 24. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Roger, Roger! Mike Six! Mike Six! Come on out He scrambled. The 10. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. He's scrambling. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. The defense let the quarterback scramble in for the score. The defense had the offense beat there initially. It took a great run to get that in. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 76-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drop. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's all even at 10. Tackle at the 25. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. That's a game of 12 on the play. Tight right, tight right. First down. Three down, three down. Mike 35, Mike 35. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line. That makes it first and 10. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Around four yards there on the quarterback keeper. That makes it second and six. Got some open field. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. Quick tips. Well defended that time. You're right. Great job here by the defender playing the ball, keeping his balance and getting in the way of that pass. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. Out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll be up 36. On the throw, incomplete pass. South Carolina is looking to go up by three. It has the distance, and he got it. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 13-10, South Carolina. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the three. Brought down at the 29. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Three down, three down. Mike six. Mike six. He tackles him for a loss. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 27. Now he's scrambling. 
decides to slide. The quarterback picks up around six yards on the scramble. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down at about the 33 yard line. Fourth down. Smith is back deep to return the punt. And he makes it out to about the 34 yard line. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he's level at the 32. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. South Carolina is up a field goal. He's to the 40. And it's the senior. He's hit and taken down. Edwards picks up seven yards with that catch. That'll bring up third and four. Here's the halfback on the screen. And he hits him hard at the 46-yard line. Flowers on the tackle at the 46-yard line. First down. Up the middle. They bring him down in the backfield. South Carolina is going to use their first time out of the half here. About two minutes before halftime. They'll make the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. And here's another third down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's out of bounds at the 37. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. We've got a safety. You don't think the defense was coming extra hard on that play? They knew they could force a mistake, and they made a big play. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. Oh, man, did he shank that one? You can't go giving away Still great field down. position like that. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. 
He's going to try and scramble. Heading for the corner. And now he's going to run. He's brought down in the open field. That's good for a gain of 18 yards. That makes it first and 10. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on the 32. They come out in a five-wide set. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Brought down at the 19-yard line. The Gamecocks call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Makes it to the five. That makes it first and goal. They come out on an empty backfield. Looks middle, got his back, and he dives forward. That brings up second and goal. He's under pressure. That's a great tackle. The nine-yard line. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Fires quickly to the tight end. He gets hit out of bounds at the one. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks away, and he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. It was a pretty disastrous last possession that ended in a safety. Let's see if they can improve on that. The defense is going to be coming out here on the field thinking they have their opponent's number. So somebody from this offense will have to show them something to get them to respect what they can do. Tackle made around the 25-yard line. That'll make it second. We've still got a half of football remaining. South Carolina's up by eight. Reese and Davis, thanks guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Across the 30, and he's tackled at the 35. The Gamecocks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And it's caught. He's taken down at the 49. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Slings it. Knocked out of bounds around the 34-yard line. And 10. Ball on 34. Three down, three down. Hey, check back, check back, back six, back six. Here we go. Black and five. Black and five. Black and five. Black and five. 
little handoff. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Strike to his receiver, no good. You know, the quarterback's very fortunate that his wide receiver's getting up from that hit. That's a big hit by the defender. The quarterback should go up to his receiver and apologize for putting that ball in a position where he almost had his head taken off. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That brings us fourth and seven. Fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. It's up. Looks long enough. And he splits the uprights. Tennessee gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. four-yard line. It's second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. There's a strike complete. He's down. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Quick pass. And down he goes around the 31-yard line. Fields it at the 27. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. run and he's brought down fires that quickly incomplete second down 10 to go Ball on the 50. And he's tackled at about the 47 yard line. Loss of three on the play. That'll make it third and 13. Man left, man left. And he tackles him hard at the 39 yard line. That's a loss of eight yards. That makes it fourth and long. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Doyle awaits the snap. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. 
The Volunteers have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Gain of 10 yards. First down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He steps out at the 46. That'll make it second and seven. He's tackled at the 45. That's a gain of nine on the play. First down. Five wide. And he is drilled at the 35-yard line. Gain of 10 on the play. That'll make it second and inches. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Tackle around the 33-yard line. Gain of two yards. That makes it first and ten. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down at the 25. Taylor with the tackle at the 25-yard line. That makes it second and two. Have some daylight. Nice run to the left there. Call it a gain of seven yards. First down. And they make the stop at the 17. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 22-yard line. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. This is the 11th play of this drive. And he's going to come up with a sack. Zach makes this a fourth and very low. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. out to his receiver. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 28-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He gets rid of this one. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down right around the 32-yard line. Number 29 on the tackle at the 32-yard line. That will move the chance for another Tennessee. From their own 32-yard line. First down. He's looking for his man. 
He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Jennings was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Two down, two down. Hey, check back, check back, back six, back six. Ready? He fights forward to about the 33. And once again, they'll come to the line, trying to convert on third down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. There's a strike complete. Run down around the 45-yard line. complete he's got room to work tackle made at about the 17 yard line and this play is number eight on the drive Gets to about the 14-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From the 14-yard line, second down. And he hits him hard at the eight-yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Gamecocks lead is five. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Touchdown, and they take the lead. That was a big, big score. You listen what the general tell you now. We've still got a lot of football left. The kicker will stay on the sidelines for this extra point as the offense is going to stay on the field and try to make this a three-point game. Tennessee is up one. And he comes up short on a two-point conversion. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So we're early in the fourth quarter. Still a lot of football left, but in a game this tight, every possession is going to make a difference. He lets it go, and this one falls incomplete. These receivers need to be ready because he's capable of really launching some passes. That one was just out of reach. From their own 25-yard line. It's second down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Quick out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 38-yard line. Taylor makes the tackle at the 38-yard line. That makes it first and They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's out of bounds at the 44-yard line. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. He fights forward to about the 46. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. They're all tied in on the line here on fourth and short. And down he goes at 
the 48. Number 18 makes the tackle at the 48 yard line. First down. Nice run there. On the tackle. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's tackled at the 41. And a quick throw. He's tackled at the 37. Let's go, let's go. First down. Makes it to the 35 yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum possibly for this defense. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. it fly touchdown saving tackle but it leaves him with a first and goal touchdown and that's gonna give him the lead Offense is going to go for two. And they won't get the two. I'm, I'm just a little bit perturbed. South Carolina to kick. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He's pushed out of bounds around the 25-yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 25-yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Gain of four yards. That makes it 37. Tight end left, tight end left. Three down, three down. Mike six. Mike six. Here we go. Wide and yank. Wide and yank. Motion, motion. He makes his way to about the 42. From their own 42 yard line, it's first down. Throws it and it's tipped away. He threw that to a guy who was well covered and it almost got intercepted. Yeah, he's very lucky that ball was only tipped. to about the 44-yard line. Gain of two yards. 
That'll bring up third and eight. Third and long here in the fourth, and this is the biggest third down of the ball game. And he can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of eight yards. That makes it fourth and long. Smith back deep to return. And he's taken down at the 35. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Number 35 with the tackle at the 43-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. This is going to be a first down. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 45. From the 45-yard line, first down. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And they got him for a loss. The Volunteers use their second timeout. That makes it second and ten. Little handoff. Tackle after decent pickup. Tennessee's out of timeout. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. He gets out to about the 42 yard line. You listen what the general tell you now. I'm, I'm just a little bit perturbed. Jenny will be the return man. will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. Tennessee's given them all they can handle today and they're still not done. Yeah, let's remember they were a heavy underdog coming into this game and here they are, under three minutes to go with the football, a chance to put a drive together and who knows, maybe they can take the lead. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. That's a great tackle at the 29-yard line. The spike will stop the clock. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Caught with room to work. And he's leveled at the 36 yard line. Very good tackle in space. Spikes the ball. That'll bring up third and two. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Ain't no such thing as a loss. We take a win. Mike six. Mike. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. Larry, Larry, Larry. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. Come on, baby, 
around the 46-yard line. Picked off, and that's going to wrap this one up. made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team.